everybody, heroes of the Greek Savior, part number five of the Massilia campaign for Wars of the Gods. In the previous episode, we left off with basically the Sesatani invading us. And uh, yeah, we now really are just waiting for a chance, but now we still have to come fight some raiders in our territory. So we're now going to have to find them and hopefully we can win this. But the balance bar is so not in our favor. And sometimes I'm confused why that is, but I um, don't mind. Let's go and find him and hopefully we can win and then we can push on towards this settlement, Tolosa. But we just have to go and see, I suppose. So, uh, all right, see you in the battle. All right, well, let's go and find these uh, uh, barbarians uh, or the Spaniards or the Iberians or the uh, Calatidations or whatever they're called. Uh, we are going to fight them and hopefully win the battle, of course. It's definitely our our plan of course uh, like basically we do have like we have like two um, like real pike units in theory so what we're going to do is we're going to do like a pike on this side and the other side we'll have the hoplite because we don't really, really have any hoplite units except those two so and of course our royal guard so right now we don't have any calf but we do have the missile advantage so I suppose that's decent enough um, yeah, I basically used him into the garrison, so that was in the last episode. And these guys are going to go and get this flank supported. And I guess on the back line from this group, we'll have uh, basically reinforcement um, as it stands. <coughs> I'm just thinking we just to go move on. Uh, I'm guessing they're over there because of their uh, lineup. So let's just fast forward a little bit. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching today. Um, right now, as I am recording this, we need eight more subs. So it's going to be interesting as well when we reach that number, of course. Almost 800 subs. So thank you again for all the support and for those of you who are joining uh, in the last few days I suppose so thank you for joining and subscribing to the channel those appreciate it and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode as well let's fast forward a little bit and I'll go into the attack of the lands mistakes ah, we don't have any that we really should be worrying about I suppose don't see them really using it to be honest. Go and walk them again because they would just be tired. Ah, there is the army that we're going to face, I'm guessing. But uh, when the battle will start, I will be back. Alright, and they're coming at least, or sort of, they are doing something. Should be in range actually before. Alright, far. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to go actually. Hard group the rest and start moving forward on a slow pace. <laughs> uh, it seems to be overall now winning the, the, the fight though. Although considering we are losing more arrows at them, slinger shots at them, and we are not, we are losing more men. It is of course. Our general is under attack. Oh god! Yes, they are of course. Focus firing on the freaking pikes again. <laughs> it's like, 
Oh, there's like a an absolute like draw for them. Like they they actually like focus flying again on the pikes. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> Where the hell's the rest then? Fire! Go on, keep firing. Oh, hello, there is the, the one thing I didn't expect that actually to have. All right, oops. Oh, hello. Uh, you come forward towards here as well. Okay, they actually do have these uh, things that I didn't expect them to have. I had to hope they would, we would already be winning right now, but nope. At least they already would be charging ahead. Alright, so they do actually have their, their own spikes. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Well, the pike is basically their uh, main target, from what I now can tell, so... Hello. Oh, oh, oh. An entire unit has perished. Oh, no. Why are you already breaking? Come on, don't be such dickheads. Like, you shouldn't break red already. Oh, that's absolute bullshit. Like, that guy shouldn't break. They're not really... Ah, come on, man. That... Here you go. Yeah, like, I'm something like, come on, that is a bit cheap, mate. But, uh, yeah, this battle is definitely difficult. Like, I can't, um... There has not yet really been that much of change because over here. Like, how the hell are these guys losing to these dudes? They're freaking armored swordmen with 137 melee defense. They're being absolutely slaughtered. Like, how do those things happen? Like, god damn. I don't think we're going to win. Because right now we're just being overwhelmed again. And the Dolph Cavalry were possibly screwed at the moment. So, yeah, that's not too good. This is actually a really difficult campaign so far, I must admit. 
Um, yeah, it has not been easy. They're, they have not been easy on us. Let's see it that way because, god damn it. Um, we definitely have been trying to hold on to our uh, guts here because... Oof. Steady! Because, oof. Although over here you're breaking it maybe apart, I don't know. Into the bridge? Right, over here we're mostly winning at pool. I don't know. It would be great if we kill that general off though, but over here we might be breaking maybe. But still, I'm not too sure. Like, these guys should pay very dearly for this. Like, these are Iberian swordsmen. It's not like the fight. Yeah, these ones are elite at the Natari eye, so I suppose there might be some validation why they're doing that good. And the slingers, yeah, actually, they got actually got a lot, a lot of kills. It's actually not too bad. But again, come on, game. How on earth are they able to pull through? They should have gotten slaughtered. <laughs> Luckily, enough, I used the ability because the otherwise felt like a full break. Like, oh, come on, general. How on earth are we getting so slaughtered by Shukdari Swimming? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I am um, just surprised on how the fact that we're getting absolutely butchered at the moment. Like, over this side we sort of won, although they pulled out, so I'm guessing that's not totally true. Yeah, these guys should be slaughtered. But then again, if we're going to be attacking in the next turn, there's no what way. I, what, there's nothing I can do about this. Absolutely nothing, and we are getting slaughtered still by these Sukhtari spears. So, yeah, and the, and this this general, you know, with their um really good attack and all that kind of japs, not really um. Not performing like uh, she would have hoped. But at least the Dari are per perfectly capable of killing off these ones, though. Perfectly capable of sling killing off some slingers. That and these guys are perfectly capable of holding their own and um, still still winning, um, even being attacked on the flank. What a break! That breaks mine, uh, Massilia, uh, Trocodile unit that has m maybe even better stat because can you see how much mana defense that thing has? They should be holding it like, like really, they should be defending it at like their start, the last breath. They should not even be dying. But we are being slaughtered by these guys. Like these guys as well, like. Like 90, and these guys as well, like, they're 170 kills, yeah, that's all nice and all, but they're still getting slaughtered by, possibly, I think, units that are not as good. An unit has so, I'm just not sure, I'm, I do like the mod that it has unit variety in it, and it seems to be that the AI is definitely smart, but I'm just not sure, like, sometimes that with, with fighting, um, if it is totally valid what is happening in fights, in the fights, because here again, like I'm not, I'm not too sure why I know if this one isn't breaking. Well, over here we had breaks because of rear attacks. So, yeah, that's just the thing I don't like too much right now. That is just uh, not too great a thing, unfortunately. Because these things should also be slaughtered, but no, again, these ones are losing. Well, these ones being attacked by both sides. Yeah, I'm sorry, but what I'm supposed to do about that? I'm supposed to win those fights and just break them, but... Yeah, I don't really know. Um, the balance bar was said, well, the balance bar said we're going to lose, so I suppose the, the, the balance bar is right. But I don't really know what to do about this. Like, the bikes were absolutely slaughtered. That was mostly my fault, but still. 
I think these guys, the, the Secretary Spearman should not having that many. Uh, we're just going to take a look on the battle, the stats after this battle because I like them all. I said it before, but I just don't like the imbalance sometimes in this mod right now. Um, I already have the debuffs things on, but uh, the rulers armies, but. I must say, um, I suppose I, I'm thinking that I should, should win these battles, uh, especially because the same thing happened to me. Uh, these guys are getting attacked in rear, and all, all of a sudden they're breaking, with 84 morale left, and they were wavering for a little bit. So I'm just not sure what I can do about that. So yeah, I I don't mind. I I really I like the fact that they're pulling units out and going around me and attacking me in the back. I don't mind that. I said that before, I like it when they are, I, they are smart, but what I don't like is when um, when units are just basically better than me while I'm just facing them with the same amount of units or better units. Then I should just win as well, I, I think. I feel like that is that should be the case, but if that's not happening, I don't, I'm not going to be happy with it. I'm going to be more pissed. I don't, I, again, I, I like the fact that the AI is going to flank me. I don't mind that. I, I think that it's just that the AI should do that if they have the numerical advantage. But I just don't think that Sukhtari, these elite ones, should be beating mine at fourth. That should be, but Sukhtari Spearmen, they should not be f winning those fights normally. Now we're just having army losses, so that's not. This one is going to fight on to the last breath. So, um, well, that's the end of it. These guys also, the armored swordman with 202 defense stats, are dying off slowly, but they're not winning from the Sukhtari Spearmen. Sorry, but, um, how the hell do you lose that? Well, we're really, we're dead at least, so, um, well. <laughs> the end is nigh, <laughs> at least very close to it, because phew, uh, after the battle like this that we lose is not good. We're going to see the balance results, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, right now I'm not too sure if I want to continue with Wars of the Gods. It is definitely, um, I don't know. Uh, again, it is not that the AI is smart. Uh, still, they should now go around me and attack it, but I just don't like the fact how the stats are now gone. Because I think it is uh, definitely weird. So here we are in the balance bar. I have no idea if you can see this, but like my units um, did not well at all. Some of them, like these two rocket eye swords, were absolutely slaughtered. This one was slaughtered too. Um, uh, yeah, these Sutari did the most damage, but this Sutari Spearman over here did. 270 damage. Um, how do you explain that? I don't know. I would love to know, but I don't. I hope you can hear me now because I'm not too sure on it. It might still not be working that uh, frame when there is no frame change that doesn't record. I hope it still does, but who knows at this moment. Anyway, uh, this is a bit weird. Like, and the re only reason why this one did really well was it, was it because it did a rear attack. The ones on the flanks that were just fighting the same units as they were, they did not do well. They they were slaughtered as well, like marine, my marines were also slaughtered. These guys just were slaughtered. These guys mostly were slaughtered. Uh, these guys were slaughtered. These guys mostly got the kills from uh, slinger deaths. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I would say that these guys should lose the fight engagements against mine. They have already more units, so there should be a balance to the fact that they have more units. More units in a model, and they should have less attack, so that is a bit balanced. That should be normal. But, um, yeah, I don't really know. It's just a bit of weird. Um, I hope it's... <sighs> Changes, but we just have to go and see if it happens to this campaign because we might just lose because right now I have nothing really left um, after this one.
I've been mostly been defeated. Most of my units have been dead. This settlement's for going to lose. There's not really much chance of me defending it. And Marsilia has an army, but that army that I have inside of that is definitely not as good as what the Sisitani have. That is also true. Like, there's not really any way that we can hope of defending our capital right now because like they will just attack us and that will be it because there is no way that we're going to be able to defeat them with the army that I have there um there's no way like if Senom with that army couldn't defeat an army like that what on earth is this army then going to do what is what is this army then going to do like there is no chance like these guys like Sukatari if like 195 units they are just as good as my um uh, my, my 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 Galatian swordsmen therefore like they have even the same almost the same amount of uh, melee defense almost the same amount of armor but more melee attack and the Iberian Spearmen we're also fighting have 80 melee defense and 40, 24 attack. And these guys, the Sukai Spearmen who were beating my, uh, my armored swordsmen with their 200 defense, and we're not dying to them. Uh, they have that amount. So, and uh, yeah, the armored swordsmen. If you want to go and take a look at those stats, like these, uh, the, that were the fighting. And that idea starts. And they cost 500 a turn. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, it is definitely something I want to take, take a look at. But oh, oh no, okay, it has not worked. Uh, okay, that... Uh, <laughs> um, it definitely did not work with the, the decrease of armies down. Because if they still have this, it didn't work. Uh, that's fine by me. Okay, then I had no enough. Uh, let's just end turn and see what happens, I suppose. Um, if we are attacked by that five stacks, at uh, the end of the campaign. And for now, the end of the Wars of the Gods campaigns until I can find a balance that I thought I found, but I definitely did in the teams, because if they still are able to bring that amount of armies with uh, how many provinces? Three? Yeah, three. Three total, so... Yeah, that just bugged me out a lot, and I don't mind that. I don't really like the idea of that. So, yeah, it is definitely unfortunate because I like how the AI behaves in battles, what I said before. I think that's good and that's really cool. So, unfortunately, that's the case, and I think I will end the episode very soon after this end turn because there's not much that I can do anymore. Especially if my enemy has around five armies left, and then we also have, of course, the other faction that I'm at war with that are going to be able to kill me off. It's just not much chance for me left. I'm mostly dead now. <laughs> the Sestani are definitely going to annihilate me because there is no way we're going to be able to defend against five armies. There's no chance. Zero. And uh, yeah, this fortune because. I think the mod definitely has some impro uh, improvement on the base game, that's definitely true. Although the overpowerment right now is not really helping, but still, it is definitely interesting to see what they can bring to, the, to it. Of course, Empress is also dwarven as still. <laughs> but yeah, again, they have that stupidity. And that doesn't really seem to be wanting to die out. But I definitely think of doing uh, one new campaign, except from the Trojan campaigns, and maybe uh, Wars of the uh, New World mod with Atlantis. That might be one I want them to think about now, because this one, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to deal. Uh, until I can find a balance, if you have any uh, any ideas for me on that part, how I can fix this problem with the overpowerment, well, let me know in the comments. Because I like the mod as it is, it has a lot of good of AI improvements. Um, uh, the unit and the buildings are sometimes cooler looking. As well, the campaign seems to be different, but the amount of armies they can feel is not really up to my speed. I don't like it. I don't mind having two armies early game, that is actually kind of good. But if they, if the AI can field five armies with 
with three settlements and they are costing far oh no no not one more no the six armies what does a navy well bye bye uh, Genoa so they're able to come from here to there oh yeah I can definitely win this but I'm not going to because that's also a thing that I noticed that the balance by never is in my favor so goodbye Genoa uh, that was inevitable. I'm going to be defeated in this campaign, unfortunately. But to be honest, I also got my ass kicked with the uh, with the RDI by Rome in the dividend bearer. They also kicked my ass in that one. Unfortunately, they don't kill me off. But I'm going to resign this campaign by myself, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you uh, what kind of campaign suggestions you have. I'm also always interested in that. So let me know in the comments. For now, this upcoming week we still have some multiplayer battles and Total War Trial Saga Troy. Of course, the 1st of December, I'm not sure when um, Crusader Kings 3 comes out. But when that comes out, we're definitely going to play that as well on the channel. Uh, that's also definitely something. But yeah, unfortunately... Uh, I was hoping that I had a chance. I didn't mind the fight against him. That was definitely not something I wouldn't mind. Um, trying to fight my way back up. Nothing I don't mind anything. But if I'm going to be able to to do all of this, there is not much chance for me left. Let's go and uh, do an heroic charge of the Serpents of the Grace. And die in honor. Bye bye. And die. Noble death. Oh no. Die, die, die. And uh, of course, we also have really bad public order for some unknown reason. Why is that? Provincial instability still. Why do we have that? Ah, okay, good. Anyway, uh, that was that one dead. <laughs> But anyway, thank you for watching for this episode, although it was not really eventful. It was, it was sort of eventful, my uh, conclusion. But yeah, again, let me know in the comments if there are any things that you can do to improve uh, upon this game. So we don't really have this this um, this this really uh, overpowered thing. Well, I don't mind. I, it's just, I, I like balance. I like a balanced game where I can be outnumbered. But still can win it because of tactics. But if they don't, it's the same uh, taxes don't apply to AI when they do. I do them to them, but they really attack me, and I get a massive penalty. But when I do it with them, they don't even br start wavering. Then I think, yeah, that's not totally what I want. So again, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for this mod. Otherwise, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion on what you want me to do. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in another campaign with uh, Wars of Gods or any other mod for Rome 2 Total War or another game. Let me know in the comments, and again, thank you for watching. If you think I deserve a like, I always appreciate it, and if you think I deserve a dislike because you didn't enjoy the video, do that as well, I don't mind. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.